Today I want to show you how to actually use a little hack when it comes to animating in Procreate. It's actually something where you can use layer masks in order to create keyframes for your next animation. So I'm going to be showing you step by step on how to achieve this for your next project and we're starting right now. Welcome back everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Leo and I'm the creator behind Ghost Paper, a channel that's all about digital illustration and what you can do on your iPad. If this is your first time here and you want to learn a little bit more about these things, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. All right, now back here on Procreate 5, let me show you the file that I've prepared for this lesson. So basically what we have here is a little cycle of a moon uh, just kind of uh, keeping alive with the texture and we have also some uh, twinkling stars. So what we want to actually create here, as you've probably seen at the beginning of the video, is the moon cycle phase. So basically the moon's going to occlude and uh, just kind of go into a full eclipse and then go back on into a full, full moon. So looking at the layers, we have our keyframes set and all of the keyframes are actually set as groups, as I've said many, many times before. Uh, Procreate 5 understands in the animation feature here that every group is a frame. So this is a great way to actually have multiple layers as one frame in your animation. That is, of course, if you have mo multiple characters walking or running in your scene, or you have multiple things happening, you can break these down into layers as long as you group them so that they can become one single frame in your animation and so on and so forth. So uh, each group here is a frame. And then we also have at the topmost layer or group, we have our foreground layer. So this is set to foreground and literally what it is, is just like a bit of a framing to this scene just to give some interest. And uh, at the same time, we do have a background layer. So clicking at the bottom stack here. So there's two ways you can actually navigate on the animation assist section. You can navigate just on your timeline if you want to, or you can take a look and open each group so it's a, a little bit more detailed way of actually looking at your keyframes if you actually uh, you know, work within the layer panel. So um, here at the bottom, I just want to show you that if I click on our um, bottom layer, it is set to background and that is our color sky. So as I said at the beginning of this video, because we're going to be using layer masks, this is a very easy way to actually create this animation without having to be drawing and redrawing the um, the part where we're going to occlude the moon or the semicircle per se, where we're going to be occluding and using that to occlude all, all of these steps on the moon. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to open frame keyframe two right here and we're going to create a new layer. Now using just a pen, uh, just a normal brush pen, we're just gonna make a circle and we can even make for now about the size of the moon. So I'm just gonna move this right here and now I'm going to expand this so to make sure that the circle is bigger than our moon object. Now I'm gonna drag some color inside so that this is um, full opaque disk. Now that we have this layer, this is going to be our backup uh, or our element that's going to start obscuring the moon with layer mask. So first, I'm just going to make a backup and make a duplicate of this and turn that off. And now with this layer here, we're just gonna move this. Um, we're just gonna move this to the section that we want to start the eclipse. So let's say right about here. Now that we have this element right here, I'm just gonna click on the layer, hit select, then back on the layers panel, turn off this element, open our moon group, and on the base layer, I'm just gonna hit the click on the parent layer and select mask. Now what happens is because we have the selection of the element that we actually want to uh, obscure, this is the inverted result that we actually wanted. So all that we have to do is click on our layer mask and select invert. And as you can see, that portion of the moon has been obscured. What you're looking here and what you're seeing as alpha is actually the onion skin frame. So if I turn this off, you see that the moon has been fully occluded. So uh, in fact, I actually do want the onion skin feature so that I can see where I stopped and the, all the necessary steps so that, so that I can create this animation as fluid as possible. So now that we have our uh, backup element, I'm just going to, uh, I can actually even delete 
this uh, first copy because actually it got cropped a little bit here on the left side of the screen. It's something on that Procreate is actually uh, one of the things that actually happens on Procreate if you drag your elements to uh, outside any of the edges. Unfortunately, Procreate, Procreate crops that element. So we're just gonna make a fresh copy here and bring that over to keyframe three. Actually, right now, uh, I just made something by mistake, which you just have to make sure that you don't have multiple elements or multiple layers selected. So once again, we're gonna click this new uh, fresh copy that we just made from the circle, bring it to keyframe three. I'm gonna bring all the way to the top, make it visible and selection tool. Once again, dragging to the left. So it would say something like this. All right, click on the layer, hit select, go onto the group of the moon, click on the parent layer and then mask. Once again, I'm just gonna turn off the visibility, click on our, last, on our mask and hit invert. And now we have one more section masked. So now all that I have to do is to repeat this process as many times as necessary in order to create this whole animation. I'm gonna do it one more time and then probably I'm just gonna jump onto the final result just so you can finally see what it looks like. So once again, uh, this element got a little cropped here so I'm just going to delete that, close this section, make a copy of our main element, bring that over to keyframe four now. There will be a point where uh, I believe right now it's already a, the point that I don't need to actually delete these elements because they're not gonna be cropped anymore by the edge of the screen. So here's our, our circle element. I'm gonna bring it about here. If uh, in fact, yeah, it's still a little bit cropped, so maybe I can even do this, and I won't need to be making multiple copies anymore. So now click on our layer once again, hit select, back on layers panel, turn off this element, open our group, click on a parent layer, and click on mask. Now we're gonna click on mask and click invert. One more keyframe is done and now the beauty of this is that now I don't need to be making copies and I can just click on this layer here and drag it to keyframe five. And on keyframe five, I can just turn on the visibility. I do have to put it all the way to the top and I wanna bring it to about here, I would say. Now I can just hit select, open the group, click on the parent, hit and oops, select mask. Select the mask, hit invert, and turn off the visibility. So that's basically the recipe. And you just, uh, you just have to do this, and it still is much easier than to actually try to match these circles, the size of the circles, all the same size. And there are many things that can go wrong, but if you actually make copies of the elements that you're using to obscure the moon, it should work very, very fine. And here's the full result for this animation, guys. Basically, I just had to duplicate the frames and make it twice as long and reposition the masks so that the moon gets fully obscured and then the other side starts to reveal. So I basically just had to kind of flip the masks uh, midway through towards the end so that, I could, so that I could create this full animation. So I believe that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, a like would be super appreciated, as well as, again, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any tips and tricks, reviews, speed paint videos, and that is all for you to become a better digital illustrator. Now, if you wanna learn a little bit more about animating in Procreate and the amazing tool that the Animation Assist is for Procreate 5, make sure to click on the video on the right side of the screen right here to learn more. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.